Hello and welcome everyone, Benny from Benny Break 702 here, same handle as on IG and on eBay. Today, I want to talk about breaks. Um, I personally like breaks. I'll get into why and I get the why not. Uh, a lot of people don't like breaks. They say that's ruining the hobby. Um, they're ruining uh, card prices or ruining uh, box prices, but somebody's got to pull those cards. And you think the manufacturers are going to go cheaper? Not anytime soon. Just not going to happen. So that's what, another reason why I get in the breaks is because of that. Plus, I get to choose what teams I want to get into. I don't have to have all this extra base cards. I don't have to have all these, you know, Florida Marlin and, and, and Oakland Athletic uh, uh, cards. I can just choose whatever I want. Uh, so that's one thing I like about breaks. Unless it's like a like a like it's a random team, that's that's always different. But that's what I like about breaks is I can do that stuff. So uh, last couple weeks I have gotten into a couple breaks. I'm gonna show you the bad. And I'm gonna show you the good. Okay, just so everybody know. Uh, well, in this case, the great. So the bad. Uh, I got into a uh, break with uh, the guys at Paradise Sports Cards. They break on Facebook and they also break on uh, Fanatics. Um, really good guys, awesome dudes. Uh, so it's it's here locally here in town at Town Square, and I got into a, a Topps Inception. Um, there was like seven, eight teams left, and I saw three teams that I liked. I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll give me these three teams, pay them, did everything. So I got Cubs, Rangers, and Twins. I chose these teams. I like my picks. Cubs because of Chris Morrell. Matt Mervis might turn into something. And then they had a couple of good legacy guys, Twins. I'm a Twins fan. Um, don't have to go any further than that. And then the Rangers, they have uh, Young. They got Ezekiel Duran. They got uh, a bunch of different autos and stuff too. So I thought I was going to catch something really good between those three teams. I did get two autos. Anyway, uh, for the Cubs, Steel, Mervis, and a Green Amaya. For the Rangers, Seeger, Duran. For the Twins, Buxton, Arias, and then an Arias Green. And then a Josh Smith Auto to $299. And a Cole Reagans to $75. Yep. That's what I bought into. So on breaks, I like to spend as much as a box costs. I've always felt that those are pretty good. Or at least half of a uh, break. Uh, or if, if it's a case break. Um, that's what I do. If it's a two boxer, I you know I get into a team I really like and then try to figure out which ones I want to kind of weasel my way into. I want to get those second tiered rookies, not the top guys. I mean those guys cost a lot and that's very very hit and miss just in the break as it is. I gamble enough as it is. Um, by the way, on Monday I had Michigan on the under, so that cashed. But anyway, I do enough gambling as it is, so I don't want to gamble more. Um, so, but the second tier guys, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity there. Uh, for example, 2020, let's say you were all Vikings, uh, on your breaks. You would have pulled so many Justin Jefferson cards that if you would have sold them last summer before, uh, before this uh, past season started, say summer 2023, you would be a billionaire. So that's what I want. That's why I chose those teams. Chris Morrell, Josh Young, Ezekiel Duran, all-star caliber players already, for some reason haven't taken off in the hobby you can get a lot of their stuff super duper cheap yes i said super duper super cheap and you can still get a big huge return on it later or you can get a big return on it now if you find the right collector so that's why i chose those teams granted that's the bad side of a break it is a good side i get to choose i don't have a lot of base cards i don't have to filter through all this kind of crap sell them back to this old guy who buys them at a penny at a piece I don't have to do any of that. I just have to just get my cards. I'm a Twins fan. I'm going to keep those. The other ones, I'll you know I'll flip on eBay or I'll give to the penny guy. That's fine. And then I'm going to show you the good side of a break right now. Um, I got into uh, two different breaks. They were FOTL prisms. They were, I think, two box breaks. Um, and I bought into the Vikings both times. I'm a Vikings fan. I grew up in Minnesota when I was super young, so I've always maintained that I, I bleed blue or bleed purple, um, and uh, that's what I do. So I got into one, and I pulled this. This absolute beautiful gem of a human card. Uh, Jordan Addison Red Shimmer 
You can see it's all shimmery. Looks really good on camera too. That's how awesome this card is. And then it's uh, 19 out of 35. If I would have pulled a normal shimmer, if I would have pulled a silver prism auto, a purple auto, I probably would have kept it. But because this is such a banger card, I decided to throw it on my eBay. So it's on my eBay right now. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's what it is. So that's the good side, right? And I pulled a flashback of Justin Jefferson. I pulled um, a silver of Jaron Hall. I pulled a silver, or they pulled for me, a silver of um, of Ivan Pace. Uh, I got a purple, uh, you know, Kirk Cousins. So I did really well. Um, you know, spent, gosh, well, FOTLs are super expensive. But I only got, you know, I think it was like $180 into both breaks. So I think they were 90 each. And I had some Blez Bucks left over from some previous breaks. So overall, I, did, I think I did really well. I was super happy with the process and everything else. Plus they're local. I just go to their shop at Legacy Sports Cards, pick them up there, and that is it. Um, super easy, super chill. Um, both both breakers did an awesome job. Does that mean that Blez gets hot boxes and, and Paradise gets hot boxes? No, it doesn't. Because a couple breaks before that, that the one I got into with, uh, with Paradise over here with the Inception, bangers bangers left and right the uh the box after mine uh my two boxes on blez honestly horrible <laughs> horrible so it does happen um if you open 100 cases a week you're probably going to get 120 case hits because some of them have two out of those 120 case hits 20 are going to be absolute bangers and those are the ones that are going to be spread around on social media do you think Backyard Breaks is going to show you a Connor Capel auto uh, from Topps Update Chrome? No, they're not going to. They're going to show you the Trevor Lawrence one of one that they pulled because they opened 17,000 packs a day. That's my two cents on breaks. I don't think they're loaded. I, I could see why people think they're loaded boxes. I make jokes about it on IG all the time about have them having loaded boxes. Truth be told, I don't think they actually get loaded boxes. I just think they just open so much volume that eventually they fall into these cards. Um, again, my two cents, your two cents would be totally different. You want to throw your comments down below? Please do. Please do. Let's get this conversation started. But yeah, that's the good and the bad of a break. Good, you get, uh, you get you can pull awesome cards like an Addison Shimmer. You get the cards that you want. So like, I'm a Padre fan. When baseball comes around, I'm gonna buy into Padres and Twins left and right. Um, and that comes out on Valentine's Day, tops uh, 2024. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm also gonna be rookie hunting here and there too, trying to find those second tiered players that no one's really talking about a whole lot compared to like an Ellie Daily Cruz is going to be chased left and right. Reds Reds teams are going to be three times more than everybody else. Well, I want to find that second tier. Like, who's going to be next? Personally, Pirates. Pirates are probably one I'm going to buy into. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of my two cents on all of this. Um, like I said, if, let me know. Do you get into breaks? What are your thoughts on breaks? I understand the card prices are ridiculous. They're always going to be ridiculous. It's just how the hobby is going to be from now on. Um, I wish that we can go back to 87 tops and 40 cent packs. It's just never going to happen. We just have to adjust. We just have to adjust how you want to. I personally, if it's a case break, I spend, I try to spend either half or full of what a box would be. So when Prism com comes out, um, Prism Hobby, um, uh, those are those are right now like 850. I think they are in stores right now. Um, I would probably do half. So Vikings are usually selling for 250 to 300. I would probably get the Vikings and then maybe like the Browns because of DTR or, or maybe back into like the Titans if I can because of Will Levis. Sometimes Titans is a little low for some reason. I don't know why, but um, you can fall into those type of guys. But that's my two cents on this. Um, I think I've said that 13 times. But anyway, let me know down in the comments. What are your thoughts on breaks? Uh, do you like them? Do you not? Do you, do you get into them? Which ones do you get into? Do you like the process? Um, if you like this video, awesome. I appreciate it. If you don't like this video, I don't know what to tell you, man. I felt like this was good content. And hopefully you have a good conversation down in the comments with the 13 people that watch this. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.